Hi, everybody, and welcome to the 100th episode of Boxes Upon Boxes Reviews. And I thought to put a ribbon around my first 100 episodes, I'd take a look at a new product from a friend of the channel. Well, I call him a friend. They don't know about me. <laughs> I have no relationship with anybody that I review. But it's my old friend, Clem. Clem. I've, I've reviewed two of their other CD players in the past. I have another one to review. Now, I think this is what you would consider their base model. This is the Clem Discman, which I think... Isn't Discman a registered trademark of Sony? Well, maybe that trademark expired. It has been a while. Anyway, this is the Clem Discman. And... Of course, it's going to be awesome. It's Klim. Just like the other two models of Klim CD players I have reviewed in the past, the Discman comes with this handy carrying case and all the accessories you need to enjoy your CD player, including this three and a half millimeter patch cord. You could use this to send the audio from your CD player out to your car radio or your home stereo, whatever device you want to consume it on. It also comes with a USB-C power cord and some of the best <laughs> bundled headphones on the market. I mean, you might have headphones that are better than this, but you might not, and, and actually these sound really good. They don't have a tangle-free cord. Um, but the cord is pretty thick, and I would say maybe it's tangle resistant. But another thing that has me excited is you get this bag full of memory foam tips, so you can customize the fit of the, of the bundled headphones. And let me tell you, they do sound really good. The Discman has a lot in common with both the Discover and the Nomad. They all have that same 2000 milliamp hour battery. They all have that shockproof circuitry with the awesome 100 second buffer. All the stats are the same. And most of the ports on the side are the same as well, which leads me to a mystery. The Discman seems to have a non-functional TF card slot. I don't know why it's there. The manual doesn't mention it. The buttons don't seem to do anything with it. I tried a 128 gig card at first and that didn't do anything. And I thought, well, maybe that exceeds spec. So I went down to a four gigabyte card. That didn't do anything either. I don't think this does anything. I think it's only there because the Discover and the Nomad have it and it was less expensive to keep it there than it was to get rid of it. I don't know, it's weird. Other features that are missing from this model are a Bluetooth support, FM radio, and FM transmitter. You also won't find a second headphone jack. This is your basic model. If you think I'm trying to talk you out of the Discman, I'm not. This is an excellent portable CD player for people who only care about playing CDs. I prefer using wired headphones, so if you don't care about Bluetooth support, this could be for you. This has a 30-track programmable mode, various repeat options, uh, equalizer with a bass boost that actually sounds good. This is a fine CD player. You will also be able to play CDRs full of MP3s, HD CDs. Well, this is a full featured MP3 player with no sacrifices in sound quality. When would I choose the Discman over the Klim Nomad or Discover? Well, I wouldn't. The more features, the better. But if you don't care about Bluetooth support, if you don't care about FM radio, if you don't care about TF card support, well, save a few bucks and get yourself the Discman. This is Klim. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a five out of five experience. Thanks for stopping by.